Got a PC to work on today. Um, suspect it's got a faulty hard drive, but I'll uh, I'll talk you through that a bit more when we get into it. Just like to say, just had my first thousand views, and I wanted to say thank you. I appreciate it. I you know I think you're all mad watching me tinker about with stuff, but thank you very much. Um, please continue watching. I'll try and make good content for you, and obviously. If you like what you see, subscribe, hit the like button. It all helps me, it helps grow the channel, and I really appreciate it, so thank you. So what I've done is I've removed hard drive from this PC, and the reason for that is when the PC's running, you get in high <coughs> hard drive usage, and the PC is running extremely slowly. And we suspect it's hard drive failure. So what I've done is I've rigged it up externally to my PC, and we'll do some testing. So I'll flick you across now and we'll we'll do some testing on the PC. Okay. So this is a tool you can get from the Western Digital website. We've got Western Digital uh, hard drive, that's the one that we're checking. I don't actually know what it is. So it'll be the F drive here. Yeah. So Okay, so what we want to do is we want to check the hard drive, basically. According to this, the drive health is normal, but I'm not convinced that is true. So we will see if we can do a scan. I've not used this software before, so I've literally just downloaded it. And I want to do some testing because on the other PC, this ran particularly poorly. Now, it might be that there's a virus on it or something like that. So what I want to make sure of is that this PC is uh, is doing as good as it can be? So we don't want to uh, we don't want to do too much. What we'll do is we'll do an extended test. Now, obviously, I won't show you the whole test because I'd imagine it'll take ages. Oh, straight away we've got a failure. What's error code seven going to tell me? Brilliant. So what, what does that mean? <laughs> Let's try again one more time. I don't expect the same result, but you can come with me on a journey. Okay, so let's do a bit of Googling. This is the Western Digital Dashboard. It's error code 7. So let's Western Error code 7, smart offline immediate command failure. Self monitoring. We start after checking the connections. Replace the drive if the error repeats a while. Well. That's sounding a lot like what I'm expecting here, to be honest. So, I mean, the drive itself is working, it's connected. So, that's not looking good. Let's run a short test. can also use the Windows system to test it for us. Yeah, so both of the smart tests don't work. It might be that the hard drive is too old to uh, to work. But it is giving some information, 20 degrees C. No reassigned sectors. Okay. Nothing there is making me think anything is wrong other than the fact it won't scan. So let's go into the hard drive properties in Windows and we could do a error check. Now the other Windows error check isn't too bad. I could also do a command line error check, which takes ages as this one does. So what I'll do, I won't record this, because you don't want to sit there and watch it any more than I do. We'll come back in a minute when it's complete, 
and uh, we'll see what it says. Okay, so the scan completed, and uh, no errors were found apparently. Do you believe that? No, me neither. So the other thing we can do now is a command prompt. Open it up as administrator. Check. Oh, whoops. Check disk. Oh, let's go F drive first. Check disk. RFF, I think. Was it S? I can never remember. Tell you what. Let's look it up. It is F and R. There we go. Let's check this F, check this guy. So, if I remember rightly, one is to. Um, oh, do you know what? I can't remember at all. Here we go. So, check disk F. Disk errors. Check disk guy. Bad sectors. Check disk X forces the volume to dismount, which I don't think we need to do. So, let's do that. Yeah, so it wants me to dismount it. Again, this one's going to take forever. Sometimes these take overnight, to be fair. Um, so, we'll leave this one going and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so that test is finished. It's actually about a day later. Um, a few bad clusters, but. Uh, this is the problem that I'm concerned about here. I've done a bit of Googling on that error and suggest the hard drive is, is on its way out. So we've ordered a new SSD and uh, when it arrives, which for me will be a couple of days and for you will be almost instantaneous. Okay, so new SSD. As you can see, it's a two and a half inch one. So I just wanted to show you, I also bought a little cradle for it to sit in so that I could fit it into the three and a half inch gap that's in the PC. So there's the new SSD from Crucial in a little 3D printed adapter. Okay, so I've downloaded <coughs> a disk cloner from the Crucial website. There's a link to it on the box. Um, so now all I need to do is select which disk I wish to clone, which is this one. and then hopefully it'll recognize the SSD that I've plugged in. I haven't formatted the SSD or anything yet, so it's possible that I'll need to do that first. Okay, so that took some time, but we're there now. Um, now we're looking at the destination disk. Disk three is the one that we're putting it on. It's a one gigabyte SSD. Uh, I notice it says not initialized, so we may find I've got to do something to get that going. Or this utility might do it all for us, I'm not sure. Not used it before. It's a bit of a slow process so far. Okay, so it's now looking ready to uh, clone. So we're using this on another machine. This isn't the PC that it's, uh, it's going to be used on click next and I'm sure we'll be waiting for ages a few moments later okay so every time I click next <coughs> it just waits for a while and ends up back here so what I think I'm gonna do is close this and open up the Windows uh, disk partition tool I just type in disk there we go and what it's gonna tell me that the disk isn't initialized. But what I want to do is I want to check to see what the disk I'm cloning is set up as. So that is a master boot record partition so I'll do the same with this one as we're cloning it. There may be reasons not to do that. But So if I right click initialize disk, MBR, click OK, done. Close that, go back to Cronus, clone disk. 
click manual because I just want to have some control of, of what's going on. Disc 4 is the one that we want to clone. Click next. Right, let's see if this works. To use on another machine, click next. Wait a little bit longer. Right, well, <clears throat> seems to be doing exactly the same thing repeatedly. Okay, so I tried the hard disk cloner that came with the hard drive, um, and that's not working, so what I will use Easy West Partition Manager. Uh, yeah, I do want to clone the system disk, but not this one. Source disk is that one, and then next, then the target disk is that one, then next. <laughs> that should work. Straight away, much more straightforward. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, now I need to put it in the PC it belongs in, and we'll we'll test it from there. Okay, so let's fit the hard drive back into the computer case. Hopefully, I can get you to focus on the bit I want you to focus on. So it goes in here. Um, show you best I can. The hard drive case gets a little screw put on it, just there. And it just slides in. It's not the best fit, this, this uh, plastic case, but it's not bad. Let's get it in there. And the screw slots into the bottom there. This then should close. You can see then that stops the hard drive moving backwards and forwards. Let me grab the screw. Okay, so that's the hard drive fixed in place. Now it needs the SATA cable. <laughs> just put that one over here. This tucks neatly out of the way. In goes the power. That's it, hard drive installed. Let's see what happens when we start the PC up. into that. Okay, so that's telling me it can't find the hard drive, I think. That's just gonna be because it's an SSD. I'm gonna have to do some remembering well it's easy there straight away I can see it sees it there I'll plug it to see where it should be a few moments later okay so after lots of clicking and guessing I finally found which setting it was it's this one here it's the UFE UEFI and legacy before it was set to UEFI only and that meant it wouldn't it wouldn't load the drive so it needed the legacy, I assume because we've cloned it from an older hard drive, uh, normally UEFI would be the, the preferred choice, I think. Right, well, I got there in the end. It's just a few BIOS settings. 
So hopefully, just seen the Windows logo, there we go. Right, this is looking good so far. A couple of tests. working well. I know previously I had problems with the hard drive basically really slowing everything down. Hold that for a minute. So I'm going to check the device manager to make sure everything's installed correctly. Now as this is a clone I shouldn't really have any issues. CPU's at 100% let's just make sure that doesn't stay that way. Is an unknown device, probably my keyboard. Everything else looks okay. CPU's calmed down. Everything's happy. That's it. I think that is job done. Everything's moving pretty quickly. Everything's happy. Everything appears to be as it should be. That's it, job done. Happy days. Okay, so that's a quick uh, PC repair. Hard drive change, quite straightforward really. Um, had a little bit of issue when I went to start it up, I had to change some BIOS settings, which isn't that uncommon when swapping hard drives around, especially when you put in a solid state drive in. It just seems to be a bit more finicky for some reason, but got it going, got it working, and that should keep Steve happy, so, uh, that's been done for the day after watching F1. Cheers.